Welcome back to another how-to episode from Panasonic Pro AV. The series consists of a number of videos that we'll use to cover questions that we frequently get asked. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at PTZ Control Center. This is a PC-based software that is extremely useful and free to use for those that want to be able to group a large quantity of Panasonic PTZ cameras from a centralized point. So let's take a look at this amazing free piece of software, how we can get started and install. First, I'm going to go onto our Panasonic Pass page on my PC and select the Software Download tab. From here, I'm then going to select PTZ Control Center for Windows. Once I've downloaded and gone through the installation procedure, I can open PTZ Control Center when I'm then greeted by this page. We then have to enter a username and a password, which is admin admin with capital A's. It is then recommended to change this password once you access inside. So let's start with the menu settings inside PTZ Control Center and how we can configure the software. In the top left, we have this gear icon and we are then greeted by different submenus. From here, we have category, camera, user, data migration, joystick, system, and plugin. And we're gonna have a quick overview of what these mean. First, we have category, which is where we can create different groups where we can assign PTZs inside. A really good example of this is if we want to designate different PTZs into different lecture rooms as an example. I can simply select and add, and this means that we are now creating our own camera group which we could snapshot, which is really useful as an AV manager as you can see exactly which PTZs are in which group. We then have camera, and this is where we can actually assign the different camera types inside PTZ Control Center. So there's three different subcategories here. We have PTZ camera and subcamera. PTZ camera and subcamera means that we can search for a PTZ, and the subcamera is always going to be the AWUE4. Once we add these cameras in, what we can begin to do is calibrate them so that we can have a wide angle shot using the UE4 and then be able to move the PTZ inside. So if you imagine a lecture theatre, we can have a wide angle view that's live and then be able to coordinate where the PTZ is pointing and moving inside. And we'll show this in a minute where I've already calibrated. We have PTZ camera and image. This is a very useful function if we want to be able to capture a room. And instead of a live camera feed like the UV4, we're just taking a still JPEG image of the room and then being able to move the PTZ inside. Finally, we have PTZ camera, which is where we can just assign the PTZs that we want to use without any of the additional sub camera or image features. We also have our network setting tool if we need to adjust any of the network settings inside. Under user, this is especially important for security purposes and where we can change the original admin login page we can assign different types of administrators, users, or super users. They can be given their own login credentials and passwords and assigned which PTZs that they can access. Data migration is for any of the settings we've assigned inside PTZ Control Center and then can roll out across different machines inside a facility. Joystick is where we can use a PC joystick or a gaming controller to be able to control the PTZs once connected. Keyboard shortcuts means that we can use the D-pad or we can use the numeric keypad to be able to activate presets and move the PTZ cameras, turning the PC into a controller itself. And finally, we have this plugin tab where we can activate the new AWSF300 feature, which we're gonna cover in another how-to video. So let's go back to the main interface. Here we have the overview of all the cameras that were connected and already configured. Here we have the HD42 with the image at the top and we also have the UV4 wide angle image in the lower part of the screen. This means if I then select and move the camera, I can see in real time where the camera positioning is happening with the UE4 feed working in conjunction with the HE42. This could be very, very useful for a live event when we need to move the cameras and have a wider angle of view to be able to move within our presets. As you can see on our right, we have our camera controller options where we can select speed, zoom, and focus, our presets where we can also assign different picture thumbnails, and we can also change the name of the presets themselves. And in the lower right, we have our iris, gain, white balance, shutter, and ND filters, which can be simply activated. Moving over to our UE150, here is an option where I've already selected the wide angle image for a still. Much like the UE4, I can then move the camera around inside the image, making it a lot easier in say an auditorium setting. So this is incredibly useful if we need a total view of a room and we may not have a UE4 on hand as a sub camera. Inside our UE150, I've also assigned some different preset positions here, which I can switch between. As you can see, we can switch between each camera seamlessly and each different option. Our next tab over here is preset list. 
Inside we can see the category of different cameras that are also in the room. Or we can then select different cameras that are inside and see their preset positions and thumbnails. Coming back to our main interface, we also have the Easy IP Plus tool, which can be selected next to the gear icon. Here again is another form of being able to use network configuration tools without having to download the tool separately if we don't need to. Inside PTZ Control Center, we can also pop out any of these submenus. So a really good example of this with my touchscreen PC is I can pop out the preset list specifically and I can assign this to a second screen. This could mean that a second operator can just see the preset view whilst another operator can also see the camera control view. We can also change the grouping where we can see which cameras are actually available at one time. With PTZ Control Center, we can have over 100 cameras connected, making it incredibly seamless for AV managers to quickly select and see different cameras in different areas, and then being able to trigger the presets that they need to do. It's an incredibly versatile software that we highly recommend as it is completely free to use, download, and try today. So that is a quick overview of the PTZ Control Center software. Thank you very much for watching.